right, guys. Welcome back to Dragon Works. 1972 Honda CB350 Twin. Very low miles. Beautiful bike. And the customer states that it starts and runs, but after he's riding it for a while, it starts to lose power. And then he said if he comes to a stoplight or stop sign, it'll stall out. So, uh, it could just, you know, be basic tune-up stuff, or we could have an underlying problem somewhere. So, we're going to dig into it, but first of all, I just wanted to see if it does start right up and run. Uh, I haven't tried to start it or anything since I got it, so I'm going to take you along with me here. Let me uh, get the camera set up. I'm going to try. It does have electric start. I'll try that first. Uh, it's got a lead acid battery in it, so I'm not sure it has enough oomph to turn it over. It's kind of chilly this morning, but let's see what happens. Let me set up the camera. Okay, let's see what we got here. Turn on some fuel. Maybe I'll just go on for right now. See what happens there. Like I say, first we'll just try uh, choke it. First, we'll just try the electric start. See if that'll work. Uh, we got our own run. Pull in the clutch here. Let's see what we got. with only 3,000 miles on it, but um, it could be, I don't know, we definitely got some some diagnostics to do here for sure, um, but anyway, I just wanted to start it, see that it did run, and uh, yeah, I got my work cut out for me. Of course, you know how it goes, the next thing we're going to do is a compression test before we go any further, and uh, then I'm going to be trying to narrow down that uh, top end noise. The, it's very possible also that the cam chain is really loose. Uh, it doesn't make sense with those kind of miles, but it does happen. So we might need to make a cam chain adjustment here on this one. I do have a little oil leaking out this side over here, I noticed. That might just be coming from the cover. I might have to get my cam. Let me get the camera out of the tripod here. Okay. Yeah, we got a, a good bit of oil dripping there, and I think that's just coming out of that cover. But it shouldn't be. Uh, there should be a seal behind that. So, not sure what's going on there, but we need to dig into it anyway. Good looking little bike. Definitely been taken care of for sure. So, uh, yeah, we're going to have to do some checking here. Let's do a compression test on it, see what we get. All right, let's see what the left side has in her. Wow, did you see that? <laughs> Oh, sorry, it's got a little bit of a glare there. I thought I had it zoomed in closer. Sorry, guys. 
So we're looking at uh, right around 170, maybe a little shy of 170. So let's see what we got here on the other side. Hold on, let me get set up over there. Okay, let's see what we get on the right cylinder here. That last one was awesome. What we get on that one? Oh my, pushing 180 on that one. So that's awesome. That's really good news. That's exactly what we want to see. That's what it should be. Uh, I'm sure I can get that other one closer once I do the valve adjustment and what have you. And uh, like I say, I can, sounds to me like the cam chain's a little noisy. And that, that may have never been adjusted since it was new. So uh, get some tension on that. And that also affects the valves opening and closing. So that, that might even come up, but wow, that is really good to start out. That's, that's better than most new bikes I got coming in. 180 PSI. Yeah, that's awesome. But that kind of correlates with, oh, let me shut the key off. Uh, with the mileage here, that makes good sense. So um, that's, it should have good compression. But anyway, I think the bottom line to this thing is going to be just the usual maintenance tune-up kind of thing. Um, clean up the, uh, clean up the uh, <laughs> points, <laughs> um, get some plugs in it, maybe clean the carbs, get the valves adjusted, the cam chain. You know, it's, it may have never had any of that stuff since it was new. So uh, it's probably in, in need of that for sure. A lot of it's just going to be that, just some simple maintenance and get the thing uh, back to where it's going to be, where it needs to be. Um, obviously, the motor's in good shape, right? That's what we always worry about. Start from the motor and work our way out. Uh, that's how we do it at Dragonworks. Once we know that's good, the rest of it, you know, is pretty simple usually. So anyway, I'm just going to cut it there, guys, because I got to get on some other stuff here and I'll have to order some things for this. And when everything comes in, we'll jump back on it. So you're going to want to stay tuned. We're going to...